there's something on this film you just can't miss. Let's go through the case. With any x-ray, I like to first clear any foreign bodies or anything external to the patient. Here we have a catheter which is used for dialysis. All central venous catheters enter the IVC or the SVC. They get to the SVC via the right or the left brachycephalic vein. The tip of the catheter should be sighted at the junction of the SVC and the right atrium. Sometimes the right atrium is also okay. On a normal film, the SVC can be seen as a faint density to the right of the carina, where the trachea bifurcates. This means a central venous catheter should pass to the right of the carina on a chest x-ray. Going back to our case, the catheter passes centrally at the level of the carina, to the left of where we expect it to be. We can't really explain this by rotation of the film. The spinous processes are in the middle of the medial clavicles, meaning the film is not rotated. This means the line may not be in the right place. A CT scan was performed. Here is the right internal jugular vein, but the catheter sits just outside this. Coming further down, the catheter still lies outside the vessels in front of the trachea. As we go further down, we'll go on to find the catheter tip just behind the left atrium instead of being here within the SVC. The catheter was taken out and recited with fluoroscopy. And now we can see the catheter in the right place on a chest x-ray. This is now to the right of the carina within the SVC as it should be. The lesson here is if you see an external catheter on a chest x-ray, just make sure it is in the right place.